All right, so today we're going to do a cardio workout. Uh, this is a boot, boot camp style workout. Um, it's going to get you know, your body uh, moving, get some calories burned. It's a great uh, quick uh, workout you can do at home. You don't need any equipment. All you need is an uh, open space and uh, just get, you know, get that uh, cardio going, burn some fat, and uh, let's begin. We're going to start off with uh, some jumping jacks, just uh, 30 seconds. Get the blood flowing. So now we're going to do a light jog, and we're going to be keeping up this light jog throughout the workout. Um, nothing too crazy. You're actually going to be using it as active recovery between the actual exercises. So just a light jog. I'll, t I'll be telling you how long of a period you'll be using. So right now we're just doing 30 seconds, and then we're going to start uh, doing a little bit of a stretch. And we're going to start off with uh, shoulder circles, okay? All right, all right, so we're just going to start with 10 forward. Ten back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're going to do a little bit of uh, stretching out our legs to get ready for the workout. First, what I want you to do is just take your right leg, put it on your left knee, and then just squat into it a little bit. Now, if you need something to hold on to, you can definitely do that. It can take a little bit of balance to, to get that in. Just get that stretch in your quads and your glutes. And switch. Nothing too crazy here, guys. Don't push yourself too hard. Just get a little stretch going. All right, so next we're gonna do some calf stretching. Again, nothing too crazy. Don't you know tear your calf or anything. Just push into your the stretch. Good, uh, 10, 15 seconds each side. Now, guys, for this workout, uh, you know if you find that it's too difficult for you to do right away, you can definitely make it easier. Um, you know, do less reps, uh, maybe. Instead of doing the active recovery jog, you can just, you know, do a little, uh, little steps maybe like this instead to so give yourself a little bit more of a break. Um, also, you can, you know, try to give yourself maybe a little bit more rest time between uh, exercises. And really, you know, just, just do, especially for your first time, just give it a little, you know, don't, don't go too crazy. You know, let yourself... Try out the workout, see how you do, if you're able to complete the entire thing. And, uh, you know, if you decide that it's too easy, you can always make it harder, too. So you can always add reps. You can make the active recovery harder, do some high knees instead, you know, something like that between exercises. And uh, you can also, like I said, go higher reps and uh, you know, definitely shoot for high, hitting a higher goal each time, you know, see how, see how you're able to progress between uh, every time you, you do this workout. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off with is uh, squat pyramids. So what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys each exercise and then uh, then before I actually perform the exercise. So that way you know what we're doing, okay? So what we're going to do for the squat pyramid is we're going to go from one to seven and then seven to one. And what I mean by that is you're going to start off with doing one squat. You're going to give yourself a one second break. Then you're going to go two squats, two second break, three squats, three second break, and so forth, all the way up to seven, and then all the way back down, okay? So let's begin. One, one second break. One, two, two second break. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 
four, five. And make sure you guys are getting nice and low in those squats. Uh, but you know, don't want to just do a half squat or something. Make sure you're actually working. Six. All right, almost halfway there. Just got seven. Next. Now, like I said, if this is too difficult for you, you can start going only up to five and go back down to one. Um, if this is too easy after you try out your first entire workout, you can maybe go up to eight or nine or even 10, okay? Six. All right, so that was six, going back down. Two, three, four, five, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Five second break. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Almost done, guys. Keep it up. One, two, three. Woo. Feeling it. One. Two, and just one more, guys. One more. One. All right. So, like I said, now we're gonna do a 45-second resting recovery. It's a resting jog. Okay. So just keep it going. 45 seconds. Uh, not that you're crazy. You just want to let yourself loosen up a little bit, kind of rest, get ready for the next exercise, which is gonna be mountain climbers. Now, for this, you want to make sure your back and your body. All right, nice straight line. It's gonna work out your abs and the rest of your core. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, do 30, 30 reps. And what, a, what one rep is, is when each of your legs comes forward. All right, so I'll demonstrate first and then we'll do it up. So. That is one rep. So we're going to do 30 of that, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 26, 27, 30. Whew. All right. I'm back to the resting jog. Keep that heart rate going. Those calories burning. Just keep your body in a state where it's, it's still active, still burning calories, still burning fat. Just get the most out of you can out of this workout, guys. All right, next thing we're gonna do is another set of mountain climbers. It's just another 30 each. Get that core worked, those abs. Make sure you guys keep your abs nice and nice and tight, nice and flexed. That'll just work them out a little bit more, okay? Go back to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 13, All right. That sweat going. That 45 second resting jog, guys. And then next, we have push up pyramid. So similar to that squat pyramid, we're gonna go from one to seven, seven back, and we're gonna be resting for the amount of seconds that we have done for that, that particular set. Get some upper body work in. Total body workout. Burn as many calories as you can. 
like I said, guys, if, if you can't do this all the way up to seven right off the bat, you can definitely just go to, to four or five, then build your way up. Seven is too easy. Get up to get up to ten. All right. So here we go. Now also, if push-ups are too difficult, you can also do it from your knees. So if you can't do a regular push-up, or if doing up to seven and back is too much, you know, definitely go from your knees, okay? But the key is making sure that you uh, lower your body as close to the ground as possible. So let's begin. One, take a break for one second. Two, two second break. One, three, three second break. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four. Five. back down to one. Halfway there. Come on, stick with it. If you were able to make it all the way through, you've, did, you've done uh, 49 push-ups. So basically, it's whatever number you're going up to, just multiply that by itself. So 7 times 7, 40, uh, 49. If it's 5, if you go up to 5 and back down, that's going to be 25, okay? Oh, all right, so let's get back to the resting jog. Next, we got lunge jumps. Alright, I'll demonstrate this. This is a little bit more of an advanced exercise, this next one. Uh, definitely watch me demonstrate it first. Uh, there's definitely an easy way to, to make it either easier or more difficult. I'll show you the, the, beginner, the beginner set and then I'll show you what we'll be doing. And I'll show you an advanced level as well. Now be careful with these guys, you definitely don't want to hurt yourself. Uh, by hitting your knee on the ground or anything like that. So if this is your first time trying this out, definitely do the beginner. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 each leg. Well, we're going to do 10, take a break for 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, then move to the other leg, 20 to 30 seconds, move right back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a regular lunge. You don't have to have your leg too far out or anything. Uh, I actually might even be easier for you just to be more stable if you have it a little bit closer. What you're going to do is you're just going to go like this. Get down. Try to get your your leg, your quad nice and straight with the ground, parallel. And then you're just going to jump. Okay? So the easy way would be just going like that for 10. The, the way we're going to be doing it is actually jumping off the ground. And then the most advanced way is if you're getting real low, and then reach up with your arms, okay? And try to jump as high as you possibly can. All right, so let's begin. 10 each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, I'm gonna take a quick 20 second break. All right, so now we're in switch legs. 
Ten on the other side. Thirty second resting jog. Now we got to do it one more time, guys. One more time each leg, and then we're done with lunge jumps. We're getting close to being done, guys. Make sure you guys are still giving it your all for as much fat right now as you can. And later on, you guys get to rest. So definitely make sure you're giving this your all. Get the most out of your time. Like I said, also just build onto it each workout. All right, back 10 on left leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! 20 second break. Getting sweat going. Feeling good. Those endorphins release. We feel good the rest of the day. Definitely going to want to keep doing this. You guys can do this workout, you know, two, two, three times a week, maybe more, depending on how you feel. And definitely build on it. You'll with this workout, you'll notice that you can actually build on it per session that you actually do this, because these exercises are not extremely difficult, um, and you can your body will adapt pretty quick. So you, you might be surprised at how quickly you're able to build up on with this workout. All right, last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, killer. Legs are on fire. Next. Do a quick 45 second resting jog. Get ready for the next exercise. It's gonna be the plank. We're gonna hold this for one minute, guys. Now, if you can't do it for one minute, start off at 20 seconds. Build your way up 30 seconds, up to a minute. And if even if that is too easy, you can always do side planks. Lots of ways to improve the difficulty of each of these exercises, guys. I'll demonstrate what a side plank is, and then we will go into the regular planks. So again, if regular plank is too easy, and this is a plank, in case you don't, you're not sure, this is a plank right here. If it's a little too easy, you can always do a side plank. So just put your legs down like that, and hold it like this, guys. I like to leave my legs crossed. Some people like it with their feet are next to each other. It's really personal preference, guys. All right, so we're gonna do a regular plank. 60 seconds. All right, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. All right, guys, good job. Woo! Back to your rest and jog, another 45 seconds. The planks are great. Little like exercise, work out your entire core. And guys, your core is not just your abs, that it's also your quads, your glutes, your back. I mean, pretty much your entire body makes up your core. So don't just think it's just your abs. You gotta make sure you have nice, Strong core, it'll help you out with pretty much every other exercise that you do. If you have a stronger core, you have more stability, you're gonna have a, a lower chance of 
injury, just going to be improve body improvement overall. So definitely make sure you guys have a strong core. All right, next we're going to do is plank push-ups. I'll demonstrate it first. Then we're going to do 15 of them. So basically what we're going to do is going to get into your plank position. Like so. And then you're going to move one hand at a time into a push-up position. And then back down. And each time you do that, that is one rep. So like I said, we're going to do 15. I like to do it where I try to mix it up between which hand goes down first to get into the push-up position. It's not a huge, uh, huge deal. You could even change it up by, you know, the entire workout. So maybe for, you know, Monday, if you do the workout, you start with your left hand down for that the entire 15 reps. And then if you do it again on Wednesday to work out, you could do it where your right hand is down first. It doesn't really matter too much. I just like to switch it up as I'm doing the workout. All right, so we're going to do 15. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I like to switch it up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Woo! Great job, guys. Last, last exercise, and we are done, guys. Let's get back into that resting jog. Forty-five seconds. Don't give up now, guys. All you may have is one last exercise. If you've made it through the entire workout, good job, guys. Keep it up. Definitely keep up with this. You know, save this video. You do it really as many times as you want, but definitely try to build up on it every time. So the last thing we're going to do is 15 burpees. If you're not sure what a burpee is, I'll definitely show you first, and then we will get into it. All right. So for burpee, you can do just squat down, kick out your legs, kick them back, and then jump up. Preferably as high as you can. If this is your first time trying it out, you don't have to jump too too high. You know, just try to get at least a little bit of lift off the ground. It's definitely a hard workout. Hard little exercise, so it's a great way to finish this up, and we'll have it going. All right, guys, 15, like I said. Ready? Begin. yourself up let yourself cool down slowly you don't want to just completely stop lie down definitely want to give your body a few seconds at least to slow down calm down and rest a great job guys be able to make it through that entire workout it's fantastic if not just keep trying guys keep building up to it Whew. and that is it guys thank you